the main goal is to raise money for grassroots charities. Um, just charities that are underfunded, run by volunteers, don't have access to grants, um, just don't really have that same reach that the bigger non-profits have. Um, the, we try and focus on veteran charities because that is the, the sector we're in um, with our other profit for a purpose businesses. Um, and yeah, our goal is just to build that up, help fund some of those grassroots programs and eventually get to a point where we're funding a lot of the like effective but smaller charity groups. Ago, um, when I had a friend that passed away from suicide um, and yeah we just looked at different um, we were working in marketing we were working with veteran businesses and we we're looking at the rates of suicide and how they're a lot higher in that demographic compared to the rest of um, Australia so we were sort of focused mainly on suicide rather than mainly being focused on veterans but veterans seems a very good place to start um, given the stats on veteran suicides and how you know, how much higher it is than the general population. My mum, we were working within the veteran community and my mum actually suggested it years ago because she was working like on a much more smaller hands-on level uh, in the community, doing a lot of mental health work. Um, she was a lecturer um, in mental health at Murdoch University. And she was talking about a lot of um, other forms of therapy, art therapy, yoga, mindfulness, and a lot of, um, I guess a lot of alternative therapies to improving mental health. Um, so she suggested it a long time ago. Then when COVID hit, it seemed like a, a really good initiative to start then. Um, like me and Ed both meditate, we both exercise. We do a little bit of yoga and that sort of inspired us to build one platform where veterans can go, they can use these tools for free. Um, so we've got we've got art classes on there, which is run by my mum, um, that talks about the mindfulness process of art and creating art and how that's good for your mental health. Helps you explore, you know, areas of trauma. Um, and then there's um, there's yoga classes, which we've filmed um, all during. Um, yeah, we've, we've been filming it over the last 12 months. We're constantly adding new content to the programs. We've got mindfulness and cooking. We've got mindfulness uh, walking. We've got yoga. We've got mindfulness and photography. So whatever outlet someone wants to use to explore mindfulness and get the benefits from that, they can use any sort of class or any sort of tool to then look a bit deeper into maybe areas of trauma, maybe areas of PTSD or depression. And sort of our main goal was to cater for all the veteran market, whatever tool they wanted to use, whether it's yoga or meditation, they can just access the platform, use it for free, and hopefully get the benefits um, from it. So we've got 1500 veterans currently using the platform. Um, we're constantly adding new content to the platform. Um, and um, yeah, it's been great. Yeah, it's been really successful. The feedback's been really great from veterans. Um, yeah, and it's, it's been a really good really good platform really cool to work with my mum on something she's super passionate about it she runs the uh the facebook group so she communicates uh every day constantly replying to the veterans within the community group um and then we've got a team of psychologists that we refer on um if there's anything that's you know out of our depth or out of our um i guess out of our scope um yeah up together and you know coming from the same background um we were kind of raised pretty charitable so we always had like our mum was really big in the community dad's quite big medically um so we've always been raised to like you know share and give um like we had you know sponsoring children overseas we had that growing up um we'd do barley trips and go see orphanages and i'm not sure of the figures but dad would donate sometimes and um yeah just like Mum would do, you know, soup kitchens on some public holidays and stuff like that. So we kind of came from that background. So, yeah, I guess we share a lot of the same passions um, just because of how we were raised. Um, not necessarily veteran specific was, yeah, like the charitable background, but yeah, just similar passions. Um, and yeah, working with Tom, 
Yeah, it's been really good. Everyone says don't work with family, but I don't really see why. We see eye to eye. We're pretty good at overcoming things. Like if we do ever have an argument, which is quite rare, but yeah, we're pretty reasonable people and yeah, we can overcome it if we do it. Never meet eye to eye. It was hard being spread out at first and just communicating uh, with all the team because we used to working within an office and um, just having everyone on hand. So it was a bit difficult at first. Um, we we're in Brisbane, so we were lucky we weren't locked down for like a long period of time. Um, but I think it made us realize um, the value in having an online community and how useful that is um, to still like allow veterans to connect with each other, to talk to each other, to have that space where they can come, they can, you know, if they're feeling stressed or anxious or depressed, they've got some sort of outlet where they can do some classes, you know, they can do yoga from home. It's still keeping them, um, you know, it, it would have helped their mental health a lot. Like I know I use the platform um, during COVID, um, but yeah, it, was, it, it didn't really, it didn't really affect our organization in a real, a, I don't think a negative way. I think it was, yeah, it was really good. Uh, they can access for free. I think just getting that um, awareness out there is really the key there. I think for um, veteran mindfulness, just more people on the program. Um, I'm filming more content, creating more programs and to do. And um, for Classics for a Cause, just raising more money and supporting more um, veteran programs that we want to get behind and support and watching those, you know, smaller grassroots charities just grow.